Hello guys and welcome to this Blender Curves education video. So this is a video that I posted along with an update about a new tool for Grease Pencil that is this tool in edit mode called the Pen Tool. You can use the Pen Tool to create curves like this. Click and drag, click and drag, click and drag. And if you select one of these points, and press v you get the set handle type and we have auto vector align free so i never knew the difference between these four i only knew align and free so free will have the two handles separated from each other and you can make corners with them and align will have them aligned like this then if you switch between these you will find that auto is a type of aligned and you'll find that vector is a type of free but there are some subtle differences between them so here we have aligned handle type that is a type of handle that you can control manually and whatever changes you do to it they will stay and if i select this point again and do v and switch to auto you see that there is a slight change that happened to the curve and now if I start moving this point, you see that it doesn't stay the same. The handle will even rotate depending on the placement of this point relative to other points. So I thought that auto meant that depending on the placement, it will decide if it's a free handle or an aligned handle, but it's not. Auto means that it will create an automatic curve. You can't control the curve with this type of handle. And if if you move the handles manually it will automatically change to a normal aligned handle type so now if i select the point and move it you see that it doesn't get resized it doesn't rotate it stays the same way that you used it so here we have complete control and if we have auto handles here and here so let's try to change them let's select one point and try to do shift the other point and we get this when the pen is selected because clicking one end point and then clicking the other end point will close our shape so let's do ctrl z and let's select this tool here and then with this selected we do shift and select the other point we do v and change to auto and again you see that we have a very different curve now so now we can either go again to the pen tool or select this point and move it with g and you see that the curve is changing on the edges here so here we are still having a normal aligned point so let's do v again and turn it to auto let's move again with g and you see that not only this point is changing but even here see that the curve is automatically updating as we change the location of this point it's hard to see here because we can't see all the handles at once but i made an animation to demonstrate the difference between auto points and aligned points so here in both these animations i'm only moving one point the middle point here here see that all three points are adapting and changing the curve but here you see that only this point is moving without any change in rotation or in size of the handles and these two stay in their place as we put them so here we have an automatic beautiful curve i don't know what it's called i'm sure it has some mathematical name maybe you can drop it in the comments but here you have total control over your points so now we know the difference between two types of points between auto and align and now we see vector and free so let's select the pen tool again let's select one of the points here and we can left click on empty space to extrude and then we click on the last point to close the shape and you see that when you click once you create this corner here it actually creates what's called a vector point i think i'm gonna delete everything so select a and then do xd to delete everything and then i will click again just one click without dragging click again click again click again click again and we made a square the last click closed the shape here and see that creating vector points creates straight lines and the handles are stuck to the lines here and if you move one of the points either with g or by dragging while the pen tool is selected you see also that it adapts just like auto points adapts and creates a new curve 
the vector points will create a corner and a straight line every time when you move the point of course it can't create a straight line if the other point here is for example of type align so let's do v align this is a bug you need to move one of the handles to make it change so in this case the vector key will adapt as best as it could and if you change this back to vector you will get a straight line again so this is how you can make a shape like this square and i think let's select every point i think what uh, auto keys are best for is to make shapes like circles so here we have almost a perfect circle and also if you want to animate like a bouncing ball see if you move this point all the other points will react and you will have some really bouncing animations and you don't have to edit each point individually moving one point will make the shape adapt very nice and now to our point what's the difference between vector and free so let's turn this into vector again and if you move one of the handles manually you will make the handle automatically turn into a free handle so now if i move this point and this is something i didn't know before is that one handle could be of type vector and one handle could be free so see that this one is still sticking to the line and adapting but this one now stays as we decided it to be just like the align type so this is how it works and now if i move this one now it's no longer a vector handle now it's a free handle and it won't change the rotation and won't adapt anymore so again just like with align and auto with vector points you will have points that adapt and always create corners and straight lines and with free you will have total control on the location and the size of your handles so this is it guys if you want to learn more about the pen tool watch the other video i'll put it in the description thanks for watching see you in another video and as always peace